Hey everybody, I've got a, uh, a quick simple project for uh, dressing up some TV trays. Pretty much everybody has TV trays sitting around and this is kind of a, a fun way to uh, brighten them up and make them look different. Uh, let's see, this is what, right here is what they're going to look like when we're done. Um, typical beach scene, cocoa beach scene that I'm, I paint all the time so it's real familiar. Always I always want to start off with something you're familiar with. It just makes it that much easier. First thing I did was I sanded the TV trays with a palm sander just to remove the varnish so that uh, the paint would stick to the wood itself. Then decided on horizon line location. I measured from the top or the bottom, marked it, and then used painter's tape. One of the things that I do teach in my courses, my sketching and painting courses, is you, you never really want to put the horizon line in the exact middle of the picture. This one is pretty close, but the water, the water line, I believe, is lower in this one. So you want to tape it off, rub it firmly so the paint doesn't bleed underneath. And here I started with the sky. Now we're keeping it real casual, so I just kind of just brushed it on lightly. I also um, used another technique that I do teach in my courses, which is uh, the lighter shade of blue towards the horizon. That gives you the depth. And then the next step was I used the same tape, moved it up, and I applied the watercolor. Another trick that I teach in the courses is using the darker shade um, at the horizon line and then you make the colors lighter as you bring them forward. I also added some tan into that green and blue mixture to show um, the shoreline where the sand get, gets mixed in with the water. And here I've removed the tape and now you can see, see how much depth you get when you have the dark horizon line with the water and then a lighter sky. That's just one of the rules that um, if you want your pictures to look convincing to the eye and the brain you want to mimic what's going on in nature and that is one of the one of the tips that we um, that I share in my courses here I added uh, clouds I will be sharing that technique also doing simple cloud shapes that's always fun to do I decided to make these complementary so I've got clouds on the left and clouds on the right and I started laying in the white water, um, darks and lights, and then I did some light brush strokes to show the ripples in the water. Here's an up close look, so you can get a little bit more detail. See how I've got the dark edge um, showing the wave that's popped up, and then you can see the white water. It's real simple brush strokes. You don't want to get super, super technical on this. Just keep it fun and loose. And here's the other one. Now we start adding in the sea oats, uh, and I actually added in a couple birds in the distance. We will be going over all these techniques in my classes. Here's an up close picture, so you can see the brush strokes. Now, if you notice the sea oats, I'm using three different colors. Um, there's the darker green, then I've got the gold, and then the white for highlight. That gives it a lot of shape and movement, and also you have the seed heads for the uh, sea oats. And here they are uh, a little bit further. Here's an up close picture. I've added some black detail to the seagulls, just a, su a suggestion. You can see the ripples in the water. Um, and then I used a stiff paintbrush and did the spatter technique to get the sand. Uh, I also have my signature at the bottom on the right hand side there. And signatures are, they, you can make them pop out just a little bit by adding a little highlight to those. And here's the other one. And here we have our before and after. You've got the before TV trays that everybody else has and then on the bottom. One of the things that I want to say too, when you're doing TV trays, make sure you fold them up so you know which is the bottom because you want to, uh, when they're folded up on the stand, you want them to be correct. So. Anyway, that's one of the fun projects we're going to be doing in the course. So stay in touch, get on the list, and we'll be talking with you later.